Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello, and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions, the worlds of TV, film, music, pop culture, social media, everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Melodis. And on social media, you know me as Peter Beats. You'll recognize my guest from a show called American Idol, and he does a lot of really cool things, motivational speaker, and a lot of other really amazing things. We're William Hung. William, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Uh, thank you. Um, how's quarantine been for you so far? I would say it's a great time for me to take a step back, uh, think about the long-term impact that I want to make for the world. Absolutely. So one thing that's interesting is, you know, a lot of people recognize you for auditioning for American Idol, and then that kind of changed your life, so to speak. But you were kind of, you didn't kind of just focus on that. You kind of used that and kind of grew as a person, did a lot of other really amazing ventures as well, right, William? Yeah, I'm very grateful for the American Idol experience. Uh, because I knew that I don't have the the elite musical talent, so <laughs> I so I I feel that I need to reinvent myself throughout the years, whether it's through speaking, coaching, poker, and then now I'm working on creating a new gaming platform where people can experience different life scenarios, kind of like Sim City uh, yeah. combined with Wo- World of Warcraft. Uh, uh, so that so that people can can uh, can like experience like being a policeman, firefighter, a judge, whatever, in, in, uh, without losing their current way of life. Oh, that's really really cool. You wear many hats. Was it kind of something even before the American Idol days? Was that something William Hung always kind of inspired to do? Like, did you want to always do a lot of cool things? I would say that I'm uh, focusing on the overall impact that I want to make. Um, because my spiritual mission is to help people try something new without being judged or ridiculed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you won a lot of people over with your audition with She Bangs um, on, on the American Idol. Um, it, like I said, it changed your life a little bit. Um, I feel like you look at it, it's all over the place. Um, the judges said that you did not do a good job, but right, right. I don't think you can, I don't think you can kind of put a price on like kind of what that did to change your life in a positive light as well. Right. Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in, a, in uh, many ways, I expected uh, those responses from American Idol judges, <laughs> especially Simon, you know, Simon usually has been the mean guy. So he's got to say what he says, like you can't sing, you can't dance. So yeah, no, I don't take it personally. And I saw you did a Ted talk, correct? Yes. Two Ted, two Ted talks. talks. Um, and you kind of talk about, the you kind of the start and the American Idol, how you kind of pr- like progressed into kind of coaching and motivational speaking. What kind of parts of the American Idol experience do you kind of use the most when you're coaching or when you're doing motivational speaking in terms of your experiences? I would say the uh, maintaining that positive outlook. Uh, my my like I'm always uh, making the conscious choice to be happy. I, but let's face it, I'm human too. I'm not perfect. Uh, there are times where I feel very crappy. It's very hard to be happy. But I, I consciously tell myself, like, like for example, I do like gratitude journaling. Um, I do, me- I meditate every morning, and that's something that people might not know. That that, that uh, and all those um, habits uh, help me form a healthier perspective, especially during this difficult time right now. For sure. When you kind of did the show, you, you you did a lot of, you know, press afterwards. You did a lot of appearances on a lot of TV shows and commercials. I was just curious specifically, William, how many sponsorship opportunities were there in the karaoke business? Did you have any karaoke companies, like, come and message you or none at all? Like, I was just curious. I thought, did karaoke companies want to do something with you a little bit? Yeah, there were a few, but, but I don't think the deals panned out, and that's okay, you know, so, because uh, w- w- without getting uh, too deep into it, one of the, the um, again, uh, the hard things about entertainment business is I got to be really careful with the agreements and contracts. 
mm-hmm. because it's binding. You know, you, you yeah. could if you sign the wrong ones, it might take your life in the wrong direction, or you might, you know, even end your career. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know? So yeah. So I that's why sometimes the, there are there are cases where it's better not to uh, take the money because money is not everything. It's more important for me to do uh, to only take on projects that align with my overall mission. Absolutely, and I saw on social media you were talking about the three C's in life. Can you talk to can you talk to us about the three C's you were talking about, William? Oh yeah, I, I that I read a brochure. That, that's how I got that one from. It was interesting. Uh, I liked it. It was like change, chance, and there's a third one, I believe. Yeah, 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 change, chance. Uh, yeah, it's the the idea. The main idea, though, I remember is to is that we have to choose to create the life that we want. Absolutely, it's, it's all about it's about all about the decision in my in our head. Uh, and and I and this this is this is not something that's easy to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the concept is simple, but a lot of times we guess we 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 really want to know the how, and the how doesn't come easily for us. So uh, instead, of, instead of focusing on the how, uh, you know, if we decide we want something, we're going to do whatever it takes. For example, when I chose the, uh, the path that I'm going to be a professional poker player, I want to quit my job because I want more freedom and, freedom and flexibility. I, I didn't know the how, but the how came to me. I did the, the things I needed to do, whether it's changing the way I, I approach my life, changing my mental, my, the mindset, everything. Are you still doing poker right now as we speak, or did you take a break yes. from that? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm still doing it, but but I would say this month in particular, I'm I'm, I'm not playing a whole lot because because uh, like I guess I'm I'm very fortunate to be in a situation where money is not a primary issue for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to re- rethink about the life that the I want to create long term. No, absolutely. So I find it interesting too, and I feel like I want to have this conversation with you kind of about like in terms of projects, like everyone asks me, you know, why did you do pod, your, like, why did you start a podcast like Pop Alternative? And I kind of made it like I started it. I kind of wanted to talk to people from all, multiple disciplines, William, you know what I mean? Like pop yeah. culture, sports, everywhere. Right. You know what I mean? Um, right. and people say like, how did you do this? Or how did you do that? I mean... I do what works, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, oh, yeah. and it's simple as that, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I, I do certain ways, the way I post things is how I post things because it works. The guests I have on are because it works, you know what I mean? It's like you're going to look at what works and you're going to continue to do it. Is it it's, it's as easy as that, is it not? Yeah, it's, it's and, and, but, that, but the, 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 uh, I think the challenge that we might be stuck with is like, it's not always obvious how things will work out. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, yeah, I, but I agree that there's no magic bullet strategy over the years. That's at least, that's one of the most valuable lessons I've learned. It's all about like putting yourself out there and testing and failing and then get back up again until you find something that works and then you go all in on it. <laughs> and then when you have that thing that, but if you have that thing that works, I mean, taking chances, experimenting, you might not even have to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's interesting. Um, what is some of the best advice that you got from someone during the American Idol days? And what's the best advice you got from someone post American Idol days, whether it was with the coaching, with the poker. So right, I want right, to kind of right. know a little bit of like the, 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 during American Idol and after American Idol? I would say during the American Idol, one of my classmates said that uh, just just do what you feel is right in your heart so that you don't have regrets later on in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, and, and then the, the, more, the more recent one, um, there are so many, so many. I have so many wonderful coaches and mentors recently. But one, one of them that stood out to me a lot is, uh, is she said, like, it, the only way you can fail it's if you stop trying. Yeah. No, that's it's pretty much. Or I love the one I've ever heard. No is the best teacher. Have you ever heard <laughs> that? That's a good no. one. Like if someone says no to you, you know what I mean? Like sometimes people oh, can no learn. Is the best some, yeah, I got can, it. Someone, sometimes people can learn from denial. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Because especially in the entertainment industry, you kind of saw glimpses of this, right? Yeah, of there might be things you want to do. There's opportunities, but it might not pan out that way. You might not be able to do those things. 
Yeah, it's entertainment is extremely difficult right now. It, it was difficult already before, but it's even harder now that people. But like, it seems that everybody is taking they taking their business online. So yeah, it's so. Uh, but 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 again, yeah, I agree that you're not gonna get everything you want. Like like because the pie, you know, it's not infinite, right? Yeah. Like there's only so many people can take that piece of t- take one piece of the pie before the pie runs out. Uh, so, but but at the same time. You know, uh, there are the good. The good news is that there are always other niches and opportunities that you might not have thought of. So instead of fighting for the pie, that's that's all. That's everybody's uh, uh, working towards that same pie. Why not create your own pie? It, now I want pizza. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, you did American Idol, and you auditioned ways before social media was was a huge kind of machine in the industry it wasn't around at all but yet your video still has your audition still has millions of hits on youtube what would social media what would it look like your american idol experience if social media was around (laughs) it's very hard to tell because because timing was everything back then um i i i to this day, I'm still not sure why my audition stood out so much. But one theory that I, that I think is reasonable, uh, that, you know, it, based on the based on what I've seen, is that it was, I was at the right place at the right time uh, because the way I responded to Simon, Randy, and Paula, mm-hmm. I, I didn't, I wasn't scripting my response. I was just saying how I felt. I try to stay positive throughout the whole process. But other people would get very angry when they don't make it to Hollywood. Yeah, but you were a nice guy, and I think that's important. And looking back with your coaching and stuff, like, do you tell do you tell that to a lot of people you talk to? Like, just be nice. Like, it it, it comes a long way to be nice. The whole concept of nice guys finish last. Like, no, like just be a nice person. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I think the way I frame it is a little bit different now that I'm matured. Um, I, like I, I always tell my clients, uh, always find the best way to help people. Mm-hmm. So that with the things you say, the, with the way you frame the stories, the way you talk to people. No, for sure. What has been like? Were there any like you did like you did American Idol, and then you did a lot of really cool ventures, and now you're doing poker and other ventures. What has yes. been kind of the biggest challenges for you in the last? couple of years you know what i mean with a lot of different things because because like you list a lot of things and they're all different right playing poker coaching ted talks it's all different you know what yeah, I mean? that's true do true. you find that kind of difficult to balance sometimes uh yes i i don't uh prioritize ev- um, all of them at the same time uh that's the key because um i guess like 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 was it three years ago when i started doing my uh speak professional speaking that's why that's where I focus most of my time and energy on. And yeah. then maybe last year and a half or so, I focus most of my attention on poker yeah. Bec- because I, I, I realized that, you know, it's, it, I had a I struggle to to get paid to speak. So it's like, you know, maybe I need to find a different door. So no, that's, that's sure. what, yeah. So that's what, and, and I, and I feel like, like, like I have the talent and the skill set to make it in the poker. That's why that's why I went in that that direction, and then now I realize, okay, yes, I could make it. I could still make reasonable amount of money and a nice living, but it's not it's not the long term impact because yeah. because um because poker, you know, to me, it's a fun game. It's a great game for me to uh, look at life differently. But but I but I think that the that my my for me my concern is that it doesn't really help other people. Because it's the premise is to take money from people that are less skilled than myself. <laughs> yeah. So that so, so yeah so that no but so you know I don't feel bad I'm not sorry to do it because it's all a part of a competitive a uh, uh, a cycle. But at the same time I'm not really helping people but uh, we we poker by itself alone. So I need to use that knowledge and experience to create something bigger. No, absolutely. You you said that you've kind of retired from like the music stuff, right? It's the, I don't want to say retire because retire means I never do it again. That's a, that's a that's a strong word. Yeah. How, uh, <laughs> how many I'm times? Not, that, how, oh, sorry, sorry. Continue. Yeah, I know. I'm, because because I still do it from time to time. 
Uh, and right now, my new way of doing it is through Cameo. So I, so technically, I never retired because they're getting a bunch of people requesting me to sing Street Banks on Cameo. How many times do people request for you to sing Street Banks? Like, it's probably all the time. It's, it's crazy. I would say over 700 times uh, this, this past four months. Really? Yeah. And it's just, yeah, no, it, it, it is crazy. And it's like, are you, is it one of those things like that you have it kind of ready on demand? Like if someone says like, sing she bags right now, you're able to do it. Like, is that, is it like in your head forever? That song? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's part of, it's, again, it's part of my identity. Uh, and, and, and you know, if it, if it only takes 30 seconds to make somebody stay, why not? Can you give us a little sample right now? <laughs> okay. Just cheap bangs. Cheap bangs. Just... Cheap bangs. Oh, baby. When she moves, she moves. I go crazy because she loves leggy flower, but she thinks leggy be like every girl in history. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for doing that. Well, William, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turn to the chat. I really, uh, it was a very interesting conversation. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, where could people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? And what should they be looking out for? You're obviously on Cameo. Uh, yeah, I would say the best way is uh, I'm, I'm most active on Facebook right now. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm also uh, posting sometimes on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Yep. And then my web, you could also reach out to me directly on my website, yep. willhung.com. Amazing. Well, thank you so much and good luck in the, in the future as well, man. Thank you. Well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. And until next time, this is William Hung and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.